with Allison Farrell. Are you almost ready? We're going on a hike with Wren and Elle, Hattie and Bean. We're going into the woods. We'll follow a path. It's our favorite thing to do at Waterman. We can see the chipmunks. We can see the ferns and the trees. <gasps> holes in the trees, flowers, birds, mushrooms this time of year. Hey, wait for me! In the beginning, sometimes we run in the woods, but if we do, we'd miss seeing the chipmunk's nest. We'd miss seeing the bees. We might not see the birds or the flowers. We came upon a patch of thimbleberries that slowed us down. Be careful to eat in the woods. Some of the foods are not for people. They're just for the birds and the animals. Elle teaches us how to make a leaf basket. She has the lessons in her journal. We may have eaten too many berries is that possible? I thought we were saving some for later. Oh, here's more holes in the trees with a woodpecker. And this is a nurse log. This is a dead tree. And things grow on the dead tree. That's why you see dead things lying on the ground in the woods. We have mushrooms. We have a house for the chipmunk to stay in. The hike gets steep and the trail gets narrow. We're in the deep woods with the big trees. We see the leaves and another hole in the tree, a hollow in the tree. Here's a, where the paths change. Watch out for the signs. Uh-oh, what if we get lost? Well, we'll have our trail maps and we'll follow our maps. But I don't think we were supposed to cross a river. Did we go after left after the berry patch or right? And they sketched their path along the book. Oh, look, here's a sign of a beaver. The tree is chopped down. What else can we see in this picture? We're halfway there according to the trail map. In no time at all we got back on the track. Tracks? Oh, look who's been visiting the stream. These look like deer tracks. So you're looking up and you're looking down on your hike. A deer walks past. Oh, Bean sneezes. Achoo! The deer vanishes so quick, we wonder if it was ever really there. But look at all the other things we can see. The lichen on the trees, a wonderful spider web, a beautiful butterfly. A light rain comes and goes. The birds are happy and we listen to them chirp and chatter in the trees and we cross the bridge. We might see some fish or a salamander. Here's another birdhouse in the tree. Hattie gets tired and Elle offers to carry her. Oh, mushrooms and a slug and after the rain, a rainbow. Soon, Elle is tired too. Giddy up! I can't do this much longer. 
We're almost there. We've passed the trees. We're at the top of the mountain where it's very few trees and lots of rocks. We're climbing higher and higher. At the top, Wren takes out her flag. Elle reads her poem. And Hattie releases feathers into the wind. Look at the beautiful scenery, the top of the hill. We did it. We made our hike to the top. We can use our binoculars. We can look at the clouds. We can just smell the breeze. And then the sun starts to set. We have to head back down the hill. And as we're coming back to the house, we see the stars coming out. Do you recognize any of the constellations in the sky? And now we're going to talk about doing our hike journal. We have a very simple craft for you. Just take a piece of paper bag and fold the papers inside in half. Then you can punch holes on the outside or use a stapler and you can take this journal with you and sketch or make notes of your hike. Have fun with that. Toodaloo!